Hello everyone, it's Luke from Diamond Wick and today we are going to be riding at a both a short rope and uh, a little bit of a slower speed. So we're going to see what we can do on a short rope and slower speed. try to get some of our cousins to be able to jump the wake finally. Um, a lot of them are really close, but they've been going at a longer rope, so it's much harder to cross the wake when it's much wider out there. So yeah, I'm gonna go measure the ropes to see how long we've been riding at, and um, to see how, what we're gonna put it at. I think we're going like 10 feet shorter, so we'll see. It's a windy one today. We can't hear it on the camera, but it's a windy one today. Okay, so I just did all the rope stuff. Uh, it's very windy, so this is gonna be fun wakeboarding, I guess. Um, but, I found out that the rope we've been riding as, for anyone who's wondering, people comment wondering what rope length and what speed we go at. Uh, so I just found out the rope length we go at uh, definitely is 70 feet, uh, including the handle, which is five feet. So 65 foot rope with a five foot handle. Um, so 70 feet, and then the speed we go at is 21 miles per hour. So for anyone wondering that, there's that information. Um, today we're shortening it by 10 feet. So we're gonna be at 65. Uh, just kidding, we're going to be at 60, um, and then we're probably going to go at about 20, 19 and a half, probably 20. Um, so yeah, let's go do that. Was the ride. Don't do that. Alrighty. <laughs> if you can clear the wake already at the speed and the rope length you're comfortable at, don't change it because bad stuff happens like overshooting the wake and re hurting your knee that you've been trying to heal for the past three weeks. You don't have to change your <laughs> boat speed and rope length. If you're good where you are, stay there. Where's your ride? One out of ten. Four. Oh. Alrighty. Contrary to Jack's beliefs, I think that was a lot of fun. Um, 
the wake, not only because we have it shorter, but because there's like a million people in the boat, was really, really steep. So I was going pretty high. Um, I had to really like manage my cut out and cut in because if I had gone too fast, I would have like easily cleared the wake like I did a few times. Um, it was fun. I got folded a couple times. I jumped a little too far, but it's fine. Um, you know, if you want to try it out, you can. If you don't, then don't do it. Um, and if you're just learning to, to jump or you haven't cleared the wake yet, maybe shorten your rope five feet and it'll, uh, it'll help you get the feel for what it's like to actually jump the wake. You'll clear it there and then you can extend it again and you'll be able to know how it feels to actually jump the wake. So it's a good learning tool. Six, it was pretty bad conditions and stuff. Out of what, 20? Out of 10. 10. Oh, yeah. That's it though.